Hey everybody, Graham here from therecordingrevolution.com and today I want to show you how I like to get a fatter snare drum sound with a simple compressor. So you can do this in any DAW with just about any compressor. The idea is you've got a snare drum sound and maybe you're happy with it, but you'd like it to sound, for lack of a better word, fatter. You know, you, maybe you hear the, the initial strike of the snare drum and it cuts through fine, but it doesn't have that fullness that you're looking for. Well, compression can help. In fact, compression on drums is really the key to great sounding drums, and there's a lot of different things involved with it, not just one move, but here's one move that might help. Uh, here I've got some completely raw drums, so really no processing happening whatsoever, um, and I've got a, a top snare drum and a bottom snare drum, and they're just both bust to uh, an aux track here. So this light blue track is just the sum of both sounds. So I'm just going to process that as if it were one snare drum track. Uh, but take a listen to the, the drums for a second by themselves, and then we'll zero in on the snare drum. Just the top snare. under snare all right so we've just got basically a raw snare drum sound and you know it sounds okay it cuts through fine but what I'd like to do is get it a little fatter a little rounder is I try to use words to maybe visualize what I'm thinking in my head but fatter and rounder come to mind and here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab a compressor so I'm just gonna go into um, the stock Pro Tools compressor the Dynamics 3 because it's a great compressor very versatile and it gives me a lot of flexibility on things like attack and release time and it's a really great way to show you what you can do with stock plugins now when you pull up any kind of compressor it's going to have some default setting it looks like it's got a ratio of three to one it's got a threshold set to minus 24 which is arbitrary for us because it does not know how loud my snare drum is so what i'm going to do um, is i'm going to basically dial in a little bit of gain reduction with the threshold until i'm seeing minus three to minus six in gain reduction so watch up here in this meter as i just dial this down So no compression, dial the threshold down, about 5 dB. Okay, so it's turning it down, turning the peaks down, you know, minus 4, minus 5 dB with a threshold set to minus 20. Um, here's what I want to do. I want to set a fast attack time on this compressor because what I'm going to do by setting a faster attack time is I'm going to tell the compressor to kick on much faster when the when the snare drum hits. So if a slow attack time sees the snare drum hit, waits a few milliseconds, and then starts to turn down the signal. For the snare drum to sound fat, what we want to do is turn down that peak, that initial hit. Like if I zoom in on, on a snare drum hit right here, let's see. This is, this is maybe going to help you visualize it. I want to turn this down, this little initial hit. If I turn that down with a fast attack, it'll be closer in volume to the tail of the snare drum, which is the tone or the ring. And then with some makeup gain, I'm going to be able to turn all of that back up. So instead of just a nice triangle trailing off quickly, it's going to be a little bit of a fatter trail off so it'll sound fatter so that visual might help you as we work here so if i have a, a slow attack it's going to let the peak come through but i, I don't want to let it come through entirely so i'm going to dial in a faster attack and i'm just guessing here um, this is like 48 microseconds but i'm just going to dial it in and um, we're going to take a look at what this is doing to my gain reduction again it might throw off my gain reduction
All right, so now I'm getting like minus seven, minus eight dB in gain reduction because the faster attack is just, it's picking up more signal to compress. So I'm gonna adjust my threshold, dial it up a little bit so it's kicking on not as uh, as quiet of a signal. The whole point is that these numbers are irrelevant, but I'm just looking at gain reduction because I just wanna see a healthy amount of gain reduction, max minus six, um, nothing crazy, but a good amount. All right, so I've got that faster attack. And then what I'm gonna do is now make up the gain. I've turned down the signal because if I bypass the compression on the snare drum, it should get louder again because I've been turning it down in essence. Right, that's raw. That's compressed, that's why it's called a compressor, it's turned down. So that's why you have a makeup gain to make up the gain or the volume that you've lost. So in this case, it's this red knob here, the gain knob. And since I know I'm, I'm turning down the peaks by up to minus six, I can turn up my gain to anywhere between maybe minus four or minus six to get a matched level with the compressor on or off. So now what I'm gonna do is bypass the compressor on and off and, and fiddle with the gain so that the volume or perceived volume of the snare drum is the same um, with or without the compression. All right, so obviously some of the, the symbols are getting squashed a bit and brought up in volume two. You maybe want to use a gate beforehand, something to consider. But now let's bring it back in context with the actual drums because no one's going to listen to that snare drum in isolation. And let's take a listen to what the snare drum sounds like um, with the, the rest of the drum mics with and without the compressor on. So let's go with it on and then we'll kick it on and off. So if you're paying attention, you can notice that the sound definitely changes. The volume is about the same, but when the compressor is on, there's a little bit more tone to the snare. When the compressor is bypassed, you just have the, the transient. You can hear the snare cut through, but it sounds a little thinner, um, like it's just literally a hit. It doesn't sound as full. It's a subtle thing, but that's the difference. We're squashing the peak a little bit so we can turn up, in essence, the tail of the snare drum. Here it is one more time. on So it's a preference thing. You can play around with the attack and release settings till you get it sounding the way you want. A little bit of fast attack compression, make up the gain and blend it back in to the rest of your drum tracks. So you can get a fatter snare drum. Little tip that might help you as you're working on your mixes this week. Thanks for tuning in to the video this week and thanks for subscribing to the channel, everybody. Appreciate it. Hope you're making some great music this week. We will see you on another video soon. Take care.